And that's why I tell people, like, there was even a question in the Facebook group, um, I think yesterday or today, was like, this guy was like, yo, I went down to my probate office, and I asked them for the probate list, and they looked at me crazy. And I'm like, that's because you heard a hot word from somebody, and you went and took some half-assed action and considered that your attempt at trying to do this business. I said, yo, you need to sit on your phone or your computer, and you need to research everything about your county and probate. So whatever your county is, probate office, probate records, and research. And you'd be surprised. Most counties that are up to date don't have it online. That's yeah. So yeah. You, you're you not willing, and that's what happens in this business, and that's why you get mo- a lot of your questions. And I'm not saying asking questions are bad, but there's some questions in here that somebody will ask 50 times before they get an answer. And if they don't get an answer, they won't go out and actually do what they're doing. And that's that's wild to me because it's like you got to go out and do it on your own. What we do in this live right now would have never happened three years ago, four years ago. They weren't doing this. In order to get access to us having a conversation about real estate, you would have had to pay a membership, a, 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 a mentoring fee, or whatever it was. This wasn't available to us. Nope. So people got to st- stop thinking that Chris, Nas, whoever, somebody on the internet owe you something. Nobody owes you anything. And I don't want to go off on a tangent, but I'm just telling you that if you think that somebody owes you something to get to the next level, you ain't making it. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because why are you asking for permission? Somebody's going up and grabbing it. Yo, and that's I got to say go something. Ahead. Yeah. Uh, I, I got a guy who DM'd me, right, uh, on Instagram. And he, he was saying that he's been doing this. I hope he's watching. Uh, so he says he's been doing this for a couple of years, um, but he's only been able to do, I think he said, two deals, right? He says, hey, man, I'm trying everything. I'm doing cold calling. I'm doing texting. I'm doing voicemails. And he says, but I'm in Charlotte. I don't think I'm in the right market uh, because it's too competitive. Uh, and I, I need to look at another market. I feel like I hear that all the time about Charlotte, right? All the so, time. He does. This is what I said to him. So I said, I said, hey, man, I know multiple people that, as well as some of my students that are doing very well in Charlotte. I said, my encouragement to you is to change that mindset. Right. His response back to me uh, was that he felt that it was unfair that I that I said I spoke on his mindset as being the issue. And it's unfortunate. I'm going to respond back to him. I had had a chance to respond back to him, but it's unfortunate that he felt that way. And the reason that it's unfortunate is because, and we talk about this a lot, right? It's unfortunate because that's literally all that it is, is mindset. That's literally all that it is. I told my students earlier today on our coaching call that the reason you got to stop worrying about competition and worrying about this, worrying about that, because see, everybody else is doing that same thing. You got a fear of getting on the phone. Everybody else also got a fear of getting on the phone. So that should tell you, all I need to do is just pick it up. Half the people that we see in these Facebook Facebook groups and stuff like that, a lot of people ain't even in, in making the phone calls when they're saying they're making phone calls. They're saying that because, it, yeah, it's cap. They look good online, but they're not really doing it. So, like, what I'm trying to get people to understand is, like, just respect the, the, the art of doing the work. Get on the phone because most people aren't even making the calls. Stop thinking you're in a competitive market. Every market is competitive. That's the reality. Every single market is competitive. Hey, yeah. right? Go ahead. Okay, I was going to say that um, Max wasn't around for this, but Chris, you could probably vouch. Uh, so back 2010, 2011, people were saying there were no deals. Then, okay, you talking about then. Fast forward in a hot market, they're saying the same thing. My point in bringing that, yeah, my point of bringing that up is no matter what if the market's up, down, hot, cold, warm, soft market, they people will say there's just no deals, there's just no deals. That will always be an excuse in every climate. So Chris is 100 percent right with just a mindset thing. Yeah, and I you know, my bad. Go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead. Because he, he no, mentioned. I was going to say, right? Like, I I didn't even take I didn't take his thought personal in any type of way. 
it, it just reminded me like our responsibility and the work that we're trying to do, the reason we're taking time at nine o'clock at night to do this live, for example, is really to show you guys that we haven't figured out nothing special. Like we, we there's no secret sauce, there's no secret formula. We're just doing the work and we're, we're all okay with failing and then figuring it out once we fail. Like we're all okay with that, right? And so what we want y'all to understand is get to a face of just being willing to fail forward and just go do the work. I, I swear to God. And let me just say this, right? Uh, me and CJ, we go back some years. Um, you know, he's, he's I, I tell people he's my eldest son. So, you know, with that being said, um, me and CJ actually talked about doing something like this years ago when a fortune wasn't a Max around. Like, if Max wasn't a giver, this wouldn't be going on. Like, Max is in Mexico doing this show. If That's I was in Mexico, this show would be canceled. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's the oceans right here. Ocean right there and anything. But now, we got to speak on that, man. He taking time from his vacation. Right. We're not getting paid to do this tonight. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. like I was ready. Like I'm thinking, okay, well, Max is in Mexico. I could just finish out packing up some boxes. So yeah, I ain't got to worry about it. We in the group chat, I'm like, yo, you right? the message to check, right? I'm like, like, yo, you in Mexico, dog? Like, uh, but yeah, no, but he's sure. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> but um CJ and I we we were plugged in with some guys that were you know on the on the education side nobody was as big as Max but nobody wanted to do this so y'all yeah, should be very thankful that this man is taking time out now all three of us are taking time think, but yeah nah I don't even think it's just me I think it's just that putting together these all of us and everybody that comes on the show and Justin events and people that get like this wasn't happening before I don't think y'all understand that like this type of free education, this type of giveaway wasn't happening. So now that it's happening, take advantage of it while it's still here to take advantage of. Because eventually I'm going to move on. I just hate to tell you that. I'm going to move on to building high rises and, and shopping centers and apartment complexes. I'm not going to have time to sit here and do these videos. And the same with the rest of these guys. And I'm not saying that in a like conceited way, but take advantage of what's going on right now. It's a great time. Wealth transfer is happening right now. You need to be a part of this because if not, you're going to look back and be like, damn, I remember back 2020 when everybody was able to get money and I thought wholesaling was too saturated in my market. I did nothing. That same house I could have bought right there for 220 is now 700,000. Hmm. You don't think it happened? I asked about Nas in Charlotte in those hood houses that you can pick up for hey. 30, 40,000 that's selling for 240, 300,000 right now. Listen, sure. that's, a, that's some cold game right there, all right? That's some cold game. It's not a worse feeling, and I've bought a lot of property in the last 10 years, a lot, all right? There's not a worse feeling than knowing that you should be in an area or in a neighborhood or somewhere doing something, and, I, and I've, I've been guilty of it, too, and this is why I'm, I'm saying this, it's right? It's my short amount of time. Yeah, like, then you see, a couple of years go by, and you're like, wait, hold up. Them joints was going for 15 and now they're going for 150 a pop. I swear to God. And I, I was I was running around doing this, running around doing that. I could have just scooped those up and said, I didn't even have to do any work. I'm talking about without work, by the way. Yeah. Just the price went from 15 this, to this is the asking price. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, I hear that conversation about gentrification all the time, right? Guys, we're not going to be able to stop gentrification. Right? Is it is it hurtful? Is it an issue? Absolutely, hundred and ten percent. But we're not going to stop it. See, progress is going to happen with or without us. We got to get, in, yeah, we got to get so intentional about being involved. Wholesaling, the art of wholesaling is is creating opportunity in the middle. I look at gentrification the exact same way. Okay, it's happening. These things are getting ready to happen. All right, let me go get in the middle. Let me go buy some property in the middle. Let me go put some property under option in the middle. Let me post some deals in the middle. Let me build some houses in the middle. We we got to get intentional about inserting ourselves into things and actually doing the work and getting it done. Another issue I see is so many people, it's that FOMO, right? Like fear of missing out. Oh, Nas is doing such and such. 
or Max is doing such and such. We're friends, like we talk all the time, right? But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not basing what I'm doing off of. Okay, Max gonna do this. Let me go do that. Nas did this. Nah. Let me go do. This. Like Max touched on earlier, some of y'all see somebody say probate in a comment on Facebook. You stop everything you're doing and start going and chasing probate. 